All right, just um, probably a, a quick little um, video this one, just probably to do this last bit of detailing in here. Um, the back of this model, uh, the reference image, obviously we can't see the, the back of the model. Um, so, but we can see this deck, so we'll build that. But this, um, from what I would imagine from the 2D plans, because uh, it's got these little squares here, I would imagine these are probably pillars uh, and perhaps it has a little like overhanging kind of a porch area type thing. Um, and to be, to be honest, using the techniques that you've learned from the rest of this model and, and what we'll do here on this little terrace, um, if you want to do that bit, I'll kind of leave that up to your imagination uh, and you can just kind of go for what you want to do there. Um, I'm just going to build this deck. So um, I'm going to use my top view and it's still in wireframe, put it back to default shading. Um, and I'm just going to again build it from a box originally, so box is the right size. It's fine, let's come back to here. Uh, in fact, that wasn't fine. <laughs> I misjudged that a bit, it doesn't matter. Convert it straight into an editable poly. Um, we'll resize it manually here in this view. Absolutely fine to do as well. That's gonna go up to there. And this side be here to there. Great. A little bit short here. There we go. So that's lined up to our plans. Now it's got a little bit of step. That height, it, it does want to go basically to where it is now. So it wants to go to the bottom of the exterior doors. Um, but it's got a little bit of a, I can see a little step, a very sort of shallow little step up so um, I'm actually going to bring this down to about half way up like that um, and I can't really just do uh, an inset because then the step is you know far away from those doors over there so I'm gonna have to use connect so I'm gonna start with this side um, just one connection is fine and then smooth that into place over there um, to where that step goes, about there. And then I'm going to select that edge to this new one, connect again, and move that into place as well. That looks about right. So now I've just got this polygon here, which I can extrude upwards. But I don't think it's quite as simple as that. I think it might have a little overhanging bit there which you can just sort of see in those corners of the reference image which I know is a bit blurry sorry so I'm actually going to extrude the whole thing ever so slightly then get this one extrude that up and then again a tiny little bit so I have these little ones here to extrude to be the overhanging bit. So the problem is if I extrude, um, it kind of goes out at a weird angle. Don't want that. So I'm going to go to my extrusion settings and I'm going to change this type to local normal so that now when I extrude, it doesn't go off at some weird angle. Um, it's only very slight. Minor details make big differences though, don't forget. And extrude that again. Great thing is about when you use this little dialog box for any of these uh, tools, as long as you're on the same object, it will remember the, the, the settings that you had in last. So uh, when I extrude again, that's going to be exactly the same as what I just did, which is perfect. So I can just tick. All right, let's change that to match the rest. And there we go. Uh, let's just select everything actually, make everything one color for now before I move on to the actual texturing. So there we have our our, our building. Uh, obviously you can use your imagination on this little bit back here. The only thing model wise that I, I'm still missing um, obviously is the glass itself. You know, at the moment these are literally just holes. Um, so I really, you, do, you are going to need that. Uh, if you want to obviously texture this up. 
um, because you're going to want to put a material, a glass material on, on here rather than it just being completely transparent. So what I would do in this instance, I want to do that, is create, get a box and create, turn on auto grid. Come right into the corner of the window. I kind of like the process of creating the windows in the first place is just to create this thin bit of uh, geometry here. Okay, let's make it the tiny box first of all in the corner. Convert it to an editable poly as we always do. Um, and then obviously just resize that to the size of the window. Um, doesn't matter at all if it kind of intersects into the window. Um, in fact, that's better than it being too short. All the way along there. And yeah, that's going to be your kind of your glass pane, which you would then have to do for all of your other windows. Now, you might be thinking, why didn't we just have that glass panel as part of the window? Well, problem is, if, if you did that and you applied a material, a glass material to it, you would see into the frame, through the glass and into the frame, of the window like inside of it which we don't want to be able to do we need this surface here on the frame so that's why you have to do the glass as a separate actual model essentially um, you know when it comes to the glass for like these big windows um, you can uh, if I can just sorry access that top polygon there you can just do it as one big thing going through um but it's not going to matter all right so i'm not going to do all of them now see but um, again it would be advisable if you want to go on to texturing to do this if you're just worried about the modeling for now um then yeah you know you're not going to need to worry uh, but if you or anyone is going to texture this then you would need to to do this process so again, I'm just going to get the vertices here. Chuck that up there. The vertices for this side. Um, there you go. So that's kind of just like the glass panel for that. And you have to do that for the whole, the whole thing. Okay. Um, ready to apply a glass material to it. All right. And for now, you can just kind of hide those up here. Okay. Um, and then that's it really, that's the modeling process. Um, next up will be materials.